All right, chat. Here we go. Here we go, chat with round four. Hey, YouTube, say hi to Twitch. Twitch, say hi to YouTube. Let's go. Round four, big energy, great vibes, chat. We on round four. This is the greatest tournament I've ever played up until this point, right? Spice said that in the chat. Shout out to you. Correct. So up until this point, greatest term tournament I've ever played. Round one, go check. Look, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. Go check round one. Go check round two and three. Right. So um, this is round four. I'm not going to tell you what happened in round three. You, you go watch the video, round two and round one. But all GMs up until this point. I played three GMs back to back to back in this classical tournament. Then I played this guy who's very strong, international master. This one is called computer preparation. Computer preparation, right? So let me tell you about this. So of course we get like 30 minutes to prep this guy. Are there other games on YouTube? Yes, they are. Nightwind in Archer right here. Just click YouTube. Uh, do me D C O E A. Go get some merch, bro. So it's right there. You have to check rounds one, two, and three. So you can like understand everything, but I mean, to see the results before, like we're talking about round four today. So round four, I'm feeling great to say the least, right? We have round four. So with round four, um, this guy's an international master. Obviously, you see his title here. Very strong. I think he goes to, remember, Texas Tech or UTD? One or the other. But this one's called computer preparation. So you get like 20, 30 minutes to prep before the round to see what, what they play. And I know that he plays the French defense, right? Like, garbage. now, of course, okay, the French actually, believe it or not, is not garbage. I mean, even one of my favorite players, creative, Richard Report, who likes to play the French. I mean, <laughs> even it was played in the world championship. Wasn't a win, but French is a thing. And I grew up on the French and it is strong. Like you can play it. You have to know what you're doing to say the least. In fact, let me give you a quick tip or a quick uh, fact here. French middle games are some of the most tactical middle games you will ever face. So think about what I'm telling you in the middle games. Not in the opening, but the middle games are some of the most tactical middle games ever. So, you know, okay, French. And I knew he plays the French, right? He played the French. So, you know, I went deep into the tank. tank. I'm not going to tell you guys how, how I'm, like, prepping for uh, certain games. I am going to show you how deep the prep was, but I'm not going to actually tell you unless you're a student, right? Like, but, I mean, like, see, we on body, like, it's going to have to be... So, wait, so let me tell you, look, let me show you. E4, E6, right? D4, D5, Knight C3, Knight F6. And let's, let's go back here. Like, this is all regular stuff. D4, D5. French is always going to play like this. Like, let me flip the board, actually. Because I used to play this from both sides. I'm not even going to lie. Like, French is not as terrible as you think. So, after D4, D5, like, no matter what white plays, your first two moves are E6 and D5. So, it's very easy to play, bro. Like, this is why I played it for a long time. It's like, it, I don't care what you play. Like, it's E6, D5. Okay, there is something. There's like the knight C3. Well, you can't play C5 there. Yeah, so again, it's E6, D5. Yeah, correct. So, all right. D5, I go knight C3, the aggressive version. And what I prepped here, I'm talking about I'm moving very fast. You know who was sitting next to me, guys? If you know who uh, Nicholas Theodoro is, I was sitting next to him, right? Or he was like, across from me he wasn't actually sitting next to me but the he was like across from me right like adjacent for me nicholas theodoro so they was watching my game and the reason why is because of how fast i was moving chat Prepar computer preparation is what i'm telling you i went in, i had some serious computer preparation serious and i went in here and it was computer but a little bit of database right and I went in here and I actually pulled the game. It was a uh, Duda, Duda playing white against, I don't remember now at this point, because like when you prep in, you don't remember like certain parts. And the guy's name, I don't remember who Duda played. But let me show you the position. I'm like moving real quick, real fast. Like I'm not even, I, I'm one of these. Like I'm looking away from the board. Next to me on the right actually was Casa. No, that's the next, never mind. Okay. All right. Casa was sitting next to me on one game, but that wasn't that one. I don't think it was. Was it that game? Maybe. I don't think it was. No, no, it wasn't. So it, that was a different game. But after knight c3, knight f6, right? Bishop g5. I go with the aggressive route. Hey, and I and I know from files after prepping, I know what he plays against, you know, in this line. So I prep this right here, right? So d takes e4. But this is all like 
regular theory mr rio yes they are they are um, all on youtube you click the link yeah there we go thank chess thanks and then d takes e4 knight takes e4 right this is all prep still is still theory bishop e7 i take he can take with the bishop or the pawn but pawn takes is the most dynamic one the most dynamic and re remember what i'm telling you guys like i told you what french middle games are like the most uh tactical they are theoretical but very 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 tactical sicilians are too but you'll think you would never think french middle games are as tactical as they actually are and it's going to get very tactical here so if i go back right knight takes e4 this can be very like draw like after bishop takes i still take white any day knight f3 c3 bishop d3 queen e2 castles h4 that's it you're going for mate this is why pawn takes is more dynamic you're actually going to keep thanks heat miser wow 57 months bro whoa been here a long time this is round four a uh, u.s masters if you missed the first three rounds you got to go to youtube chess bro bro we got the chess we got the chess bro here? hold on we in a youtube hey make sure y'all sub to youtube make sure y'all sub to chess bro on youtube we got the chess bro in the chat thanks for the 38 months bro we going over this is your u.s masters round four bro you know i was snapping you know i was snapping that tournament this is round four if you want to see rounds one through three make sure you uh go watch them on youtube here right so g takes f6 is what uh he played very tactical i'm still in prep by the way i'm in prep i'm gonna tell you where i stopped in prep and how long i thought so i go knight f3 and we like in i'm not instantly moving but very close very close to insta moving because i know like i already checked this in prep he goes f5 i'm insta moving nice nice c3 i even know this line like without prep i've played this line a long time ago because uh roman Jinji Hashvili or Roman DZ slap the keyboard is what I like to call him. Um, he uh, he actually recommended this. What's up, champ? What's good? Yo, we got a big time raid from Chess Bra, the big family, the legendary, the one and only Chess Bra. Thanks, bros. What's up, big dogs? We're doing analysis right now, Chad. And this is round four of US Masters, D December 2022. And uh, I had the greatest tournament basically of my life up until that point now, up until that point. So it was very nice. It was a very nice tournament. You can watch uh, rounds one through three on YouTube. We're doing round four tonight. So I'm playing this international master, right? And uh, from the beginning, real fast, like very quick. If you just just get in here, hit the follow button too if you knew. E4, E6, right? D4, D5. We're playing a, he's playing a French, Bishop G5. He takes on E4. I think this is like the burn variation. Knight takes, Bishop E7 takes if bishop takes i have like a nice a nice attack after knight of three bishop d3 c3 queen e2 castle queen side h4 so g takes f6 happens right which is very dynamic in french this is very very uh sharp stuff after g takes f6 i go knight f3 f5 i'm still in prep because this is called computer preparation that prep this game very hard a6 right his idea is to play b5 bishop b7 quite quickly king can be safe here also sometimes castling Queen e2, he goes b5. I castle queen side. He goes b4. All right, chat, here we go. Now remember to prep, right? Computer preparation. <laughs> so I had to move here. What do you do? And when I looked at my computer preparation, there was only one game that I chose to follow when I, le when I was in preparation here. And then I, when you get out of prep, this is why I was teaching a student this earlier, is when, you're, when you get out of prep, you know, prep only is only going to work so much. Then when you get out of prep, you're going to have to calculate COE by yourself, my guy. Bruh. You're going to have to do the work. So, in fact, I'll tell you where that part is later on in the game. But right now, I'm still in computer preparation. So, B4, what do we do? D5 or Knight A4? Steven says D5. Knight A4, B3. Knight B1, see well, you know it, bro. Knight B Knight A4, B3, and then Knight B1. That is interesting. Knight A4, B3, and then put the knight on B1. Or B2. Wow. That is interesting, Trevor. That is that one is that is they won't even let me draw that. And then knight B2. It's the other one. That's interesting. That's interesting. It's interesting. Knight B2, no moves. 
in that order. So you mean knight a4, play b3, and then knight b2. Got it. That makes sense. Knight b1, knight b2, c4, chat GPT style. <laughs> That's funny. Knight a4, b3, knight b2, says Trevor, correct. COE, thanks, for, uh, knight owl. Don't spend the whole check over there at the store. I spend most of it, is what we always say. I don't know what black plays in between. Well, after knight a4, right? Um, I worked with the uh, coach that was like, yo, I remember. He said, I, I believe in the tempo. He really loves the tempo, which is important. So follow the tempo here. A lot of times when you can make tempo, do things with tempo or temp B, sometimes it's hard to defend. And also you can get in a lot of trouble because you have to defend and you have to like respond to the temp B. So a counter temp B is even better. It's like really like mind blowing. All right. So after 94, tempo, he hits A2. He hits the A2 move. I'm still in prep. Remember, this is called computer preparation, chat. It's it's white to move. What do you do in this position? What do you do with this? Hey, yo, A2 hanging, big fella. A2 is hanging. What you gonna do about it, right? What, what are you gonna do about this? It's quite easy, huh? Quite easy. B3. Always play king B1. Okay, right? B3, Queen C4. You trying to trade them boys off, Mr. Rio? Knight B2, King B1 from Camelito. I like it. C4, whoa, from Dig VJ. Oh, C4, B3. Well, in fact, chat, the move here is 100% C4. C4, this is prep. So B3 is playable, but like, you know, you have to be passive after Bishop D7, right? And Bishop D7, in fact, let me see what the engine likes. Okay, engine says play Knight E5. Yeah, I don't know what's going on at this point. I mean, just allowing Bishop takes A4. Maybe there's some stuff with Queen H5, which I've seen before, but bro. This is prep. Yeah, this is prep right now, all the way up to C4. Oh, I'm still in prep. I am definitely all the way in prep. This is why this one's called Computer Preparation. The title of this because i prepped so deep in this preparation that i only i know that there was one game that i could follow and in the game in fact it's crazy because afterwards i was like bro i didn't look at one move that he could have played and i was like i don't know how long i would have spent to figure it out because you know in prep some moves you don't actually check because you're like i mean we probably won't go down here or maybe this is more logical and in fact we did go down the line where i was like oh my goodness if he plays this, I'm going to spend 40 minutes right here to figure this out. And if he if plays something else, then I'll keep moving. So I'm in prep still, right? After C4, you play on C4, still prep, still prep, right? I can play D5 next. So opposant on peasant, right, is a move. Or he can just move the queen away with tempo. So he goes queen A5. He hits A4. He hits A4. I go b3 because it's kind of forced now and i c5 what are you doing bro what are you doing right so i go b3 he goes bishop d7 chat look at this position Bruh. wow he needs some milk oh boy it's about to get crazy around here and this is a french right you never think you get this from a french right the french defense it's right to move bro what you do now what you gonna do here chat what you gonna do king in the center but my king looking crazy what is going on right now? What is going on? Somebody talk to me, bro. Somebody talk to me. It's white to move. What are you doing in this position? This is still prep, bro. I'm in prep. So I'm blitzing these moves out and people looking at me like, bro, why are you moving so fast? Nicholas <laughs> and Nicholas Theodoro, shout out to him, bro. He was like right there. He was right next to uh he was sitting next to the IM I was playing. He looked over at the game because he got very sharp and he was just looking at the game. He just, you know, no emotion or nothing, but he just, he was intrigued. Like, what are y'all doing over here? It was definitely one of those. Wait till the next few moves. Bishop d7. Okay, what do you play? Queen e5. Y'all just bailing out like that? Y'all just bailing out like that, really? Really? Y'all just gonna bail out like that? Y'all just gonna try to trade queens? Really? That's how y'all feel. Wow, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. You really think we about to trade queens right here? Knight c5, queen b2, queen c4, knight e5. How would you prep for d5, knight c5? Okay, so chat, here's the move. Here's the move. Y'all ready for this? Here's the move. 
the move here and this isn't prep this isn't prep i only found one game I was, i'm telling you i was following a game in the database from duda from duda where he played d5 <laughs> I'm playing D5, bro. So I'm like, bro, hey, D5. And I'm playing very quickly, right? So a lot of times when you play quickly, it's very um, intimidating to your opponent, right? It's very intimidating to your opponent to play quickly and also in a sharp position like this. So I'm playing it quick. I play D5 very quickly. Now, I actually have even more prep, right? Even more prep right here, right? So D5, because I'm going to take on E6, I'm going to play Queen E5. I have all kind of threats coming to you so he takes on a4 i take back on a4 he takes on a4 bro this is still prep chat this is still prep i'm not even kidding you this is the craziest one of the craziest lines i've ever played in my life especially otb and how fast i was moving i was like moving real quick and then i took a think and i'll tell you where i took a think i took a 30 minute think i just kind of spoiled it here spoiled it Bruh. but i had a 30 minute think when i came out on the other side successful but i'll tell you where it is that the queen takes a4 it's white to move chat what is the next move still in prep i'm still in prep here so but it's white to move what a crazy position i love this type of chess i love this but it also tells you how strong he is too because he found everything correctly I'm not even gonna lie, he knows his opening, which is like if you know your stuff, you can play anything. He played this boy 100 percent correctly. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. The uh, uh kudos to him for how strong he is, because he found all the right moves. Even with prep. Queen takes a4, so you have queen b2, d takes e6, knight b4. Okay, knight b4, nice. Knight b4. I didn't even think of that one. I didn't even think of that one. Okay, queen d5. Queen d5, queen d. That's an interesting one. That's an interesting one. Queen b2, okay, queen b2. Two, okay. So the follows z's, appreciate it. What was his rating? 24. So dxe, we get checkmated. He find refuge on b1, knight g7. I like it, I like what y'all on. I like what y'all on. So, in fact, I take on e6, right? I take on e6 because it's getting crazy. I can take on f7, right? I can take on f7. And then, chat, look at this, bro. There's something about prep. When you have prep, like, I, you have to spend hours prepping. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm giving you an insight on, like, when you're playing classical chess here, how, like, deep you have to prep at certain levels. And I prepped this b3. Bro, look at this move. Look at this. Bro, you played a classical game. Somebody talk to me, bro. Talk to me, bro. Imagine you see this on the board. Who's winning? What's going on? This is all prep. This is all prep. This is all prep. But imagine this, this is what is going on. He plays B3. Now, honestly, I was impressed because B3 is the best move. B3 is absolutely the best move here. And what um, I had a problem with, I was white not dead. Exactly, Chess Afro, right? Believe it or not, and this is, it just says this is zeros. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> It's zeros right now, believe it or not. Rook d2, queen h5, okay? So, this is, uh, <laughs> this is ridiculous, right? So, after b3, after b3, I'm first off, like, you know, I'm like a little, I'm a little, I'm like not concerned, but I'm like, hold on, bro. You find everything correctly, my guy. Slow down, relax, relax, bro. Why are you playing so strong? What tournament is this? I just arrived. This is uh, this is the U.S. Masters round four. So if you want to know what happened in rounds one through three, can't tell you. You got to go watch that on the YouTube. You can sub there in the chat, or if you're watching from YouTube, make sure you hit that button. Go watch the other three. Can't tell you what happened there. But we on round four. I'm playing an IM, and this is uh, one of the greatest tournaments I've ever played. So uh, because of like my performance. So after B three, after B three, I'm still in prep. And I take on F7. Now here, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I was, I was a little frightened, bro. I was a little frightened. And the reason why I was frightened, the reason why I was frightened is because I only looked at King F7. The game I was following was a 2700 game. And I remember that King to F7 was the only move. But then I thought in my head, what if he played King F8? Bruh. So I was like, oh, we're going to be here for a while. We're going to be here for a while, right? 
because I had to look at this. I mean, it's a COE, right? Calculation over everything. So first move, I was like, well, queen e5, right? Hit the rook. But then am I getting made it, right? Is the first thing you have to ask yourself. Am I getting made it? Bishop a3 check. Where do you put your king? Chat, please tell me where you put your king. Do you go b1 or do you go d2? Somebody talk to me real quick. Where do you put the king? On b1 or do you go king d2? This is not what happened, but this is what I had to calculate. If he goes king f8, then rook d8, and I'm sure it works. Rook d8, okay. b1, b1, d2, b1, b1. Dad bot. Oh, I see you. I see you. Dad bot got it. <laughs> bot shuffle, huh? Get <laughs> out of there real quick. Dad bot shuffle. D2, 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 B1. I'll put an E4 and shake hands. <laughs> that was good. I'll put it on E4. Shake your hand. Right, you go, bro. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. All right. So, what it is, is, um, Okay, let me show you both. King B1, you actually are drawing. But here, I thought it was like losing. Because after B takes A2, right, King, you have to go King A1. Because I, I looked at it, what if I take the pawn? Bishop D6, and I lose the queen immediately. Like, get me off the board, you know what I'm saying, right? So, King A1, he can take the rook with check, which is really annoying. After Queen takes, I have to take on A2, right? And then here, I was like, maybe he could go Queen A4 or something. But the rook is hanging. He has to deal with this. And engine says, oh my goodness, y'all won't believe this. How is this equal, bro? You gotta be kidding me. That's crazy. Bruh. By knight c6. <laughs> oh man. And then takes and king e7. And <laughs> zero. <laughs> man, somebody clip this, bro. This is zero. Yeah, we gotta put this on uh, all the socials. This is uh this is apparently equal. Equal position. I go queen g7 to threaten this. He goes knight b4, and apparently it's some type of draw. After king takes, knight c2, king a2, knight b4, king a3. And this is a freaking draw. Unbelievable. I didn't even know that until now. Just learned something myself here. But this queen e5 move, after the queen e5 move, I did see after the check, I was going to have to run for the heels. King d2, I saw a queen b4 check. And then I was like, shoot, if I go king e2, he has to take, and I was going to say... My king is on E3. Are you kidding me? Bro, you're kidding me. And I was going to go for this line. Like, for real. My king on E3, dog. My king on E3. What is going on? What is going on? What is actually going on, right? This is the craziest thing I've ever done, right, in chess. No, especially in a classical game. Playing in this IM, right? Having the great, greatest tournament of my life. So after I take, I'm thinking about all of this if he goes king F8. I only prepared for king f7, but in the game, I'm like, wait, what about king f8? Forgot to look at this in my prep. And I was like, oh, man. So, like, now I'm sitting here thinking while he's thinking. But then he plays king f7. And I, I breathe. <sighs> All right. I felt a little better here. So now, after he plays king f7, it's white to move, chat. Let me tell you, this is still prep. What's the move, chat? What's the move right now? I want you to find the move. This is still prep. And this is this is how far prep can go. We are move 17. But this is how far prep can go and how good it can be if you know what you're doing. What is the move? 95, 95, two of them from Trevor. Steve is with knight e5. And two with knight e5, 95. Knight g5. Okay, all right, cool, cool. Knight g5. Let him take with check. Got it. Cool, bro. What's the next move? Definitely think about that next one there. Not going to say if it's right or wrong, but we are going to throw it out there. 95. Okay, 95 check. Rook d2. 17 lines of theory. Which opening is this? No, 17 moves of theory. And this is actually the French defense. Right, believe it or not. <laughs> believe it or not. Like, I'm telling you, the French middle games can be some of the most tactical middle games you've ever seen in your life. Right? Just close to, very close to a, a knight or Sicilian type. Knight d4, rook d4, something on d4, okay. Something on d4, rook d7, right? Rook d7. D7, okay. Queen b2. Queen b2. Queen e5. Okay, nice, nice. Got it, got it. Rook d2, okay. Okay, Jay, okay. 
Okay. So let me tell y'all moves, you know, by, you know, first off, 95 doesn't work. After King G7, I don't have a good follow up. Here's like attacking 101, right? Well, look at these. I'm only attacking with two. I may be able to get a perpetual. I also have to watch out for Bishop A3s myself, right? Followed by pawn takes, or I'm going to have to run the king out into the middle of the street. He got rook D8s, and this is not the way I want to do things because I'm not even developed correctly. After King G7, this doesn't work, bro. So 95 is not a move, right? Knight G5, you get hit, you know, with the saber across the body real fast. That's Bishop G5 check. You can't even go Queen H5, right? And if 95, King G7, there is no Queen H5 check because the King's on G7. So there's no Queen H5 check. And you're also getting mated too as well. And you also have to worry about this pawn that's about to queen. There's so many things to worry about right now. Very scary. Very scary. So after King takes, right? And this is still following a game, right? None of these moves work. I mean, Rook D2 is defensive at this point. The move here, Chet, and I remember, <laughs> I remember I played this so fast and I was so hyped to play it because I knew what was going on. In fact, Chess Riddle and Bobby got it. That's it, C5, bro. I played this so fast. Like imagine, you know, it's very intimidating, right? If you get flipped the board, right? And after you reach this position, King takes, I'm instantly moving almost at the board. And I play C5 almost instantly, right? Cause I was like, oh yeah, this is prep. I remember this, this is from the prep. So I play C5. With the idea of what? What's the idea, Chad? What's the idea? Why did I play C5? This is a ridiculous looking move. What is the idea? Why did I play C5? What is my next move going to be? I just want to ask, you know, if I have another move, what do I do? So if it's white to move again, where am I going to go? Cutting bishop, cutting bishop off, very nice. Something to c4, luring the bishop to wait. Was white already? Was white already with time trouble? Uh, black. I was. You mean black? I was playing white. Um, no, uh, no, there was no time trouble. He did think though. He was definitely lower. And then I think we caught up on time after I had like a thirty minute think after the next move or so. So ninety five, queen c4, queen c4. Correct, chat. Queen to c4 is the idea. And from the game I followed, I remember it was something with like I don't remember if he captured or not. But if bishop c5, actually, no, this is what happened in the game I was following, 2700 game with Duda, pawn takes. If pawn takes, I go queen c4 check. Looks like you queen in, but you have to take this. Queen takes, bishop takes c4. King goes wherever. I don't care where you go, right? I mean, I think in the game, he went like king g7. And then bishop takes a2, right? So this position is probably, is really slightly better for white here. I just have active pieces. That's it. I got a bishop and your know, king's a little loose. I have knight d4, knight f5, or e6 ideas, right? So this is this is what I was prepping, and I was ready for this, right? So um, this didn't happen, and if queen takes a2, right? If queen takes a2, I actually can just take and do the same thing, check, and reach a, a, the same kind of position. So c5 is to open up the diagonal for that, right? But then, you know, again, this is why I prep. You know, I didn't prep. I only had 30 minutes to prep, right? So... If you have hours, you can go through everything, but I did not have hours and all at all or days. He plays queen a3 check, and this, Bruh. this is where I spent like 30, 35 minutes, guys. I'm not even lying to you. I spent like 30 to 35 minutes, maybe more, on this move right here. On this move right here. So what do you do right now? This is check, and you either go king b1, or you block with the queen. What do you do, chat? King b1, or do you block with the queen, chat? King b1 instinct, queen b2, okay, okay. Okay, block with the queen, get hit with b takes a2, okay. Queen block. King B1 seems passive. He gets time to bring the bishop from Nathan. King flip the DGT board. Queen B2. Interesting. Went up 200 ELO from Hello Fresh. Let's go, Mr. Swift Tickle. You just come in Hello Fresh, chat. Shout out to Mr. Swift Tickle. He sort of follow pure maple. All right, block. Queen B2. Block that. That is per pure maple. Rook D3. Wow. Georgia. That is, you know what? Dang, that's next level. I didn't even think about that one. I didn't even think about that one. That's interesting. Big D3. I grab a protein bar and chew really loud. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, that would be annoying. Okay, so jet yeah, chat GPT in the chat, right? So all right. Here's what here's what I didn't choose. Thanks for the follow-up. So I didn't choose King B1. And the reason for this is it's equal, but from a practical standpoint, I didn't like the moves that that black can play. And what I mean by that is initiative. I need to be fast. So what he can do right now is knight c6. You have to defend this somehow. Right? And I was thinking queen c4 check and some type of check. In fact, let me turn the engine on. Yeah, this is, oh, wow. That's not, I'm way off. Like, queen c4 is not even the move. In fact, I mean, what's the best defensive move right now for white chat? I mean, you got to think about this now. Like, what do you do right now? He's about to play rook b8. Pawn takes. There's also bishop f6 you're forgetting about. So you let him take, but then he's going to play rook b8 and bishop f6, and you about to get your head cracked on national on national television you about to get destroyed real fast look at this rook b8 bishop f6 everything you can it, it collapses knight c6 is such a nasty move because if bishop f6 sometimes i could block with check but you can't do that with this knight on c6 this is very strong oh rook d7 looks great doesn't it absolutely absolutely looks great but i do rook a to b8 or even rook h to b8 and then where do you go next where do you go next? Moment of silence. We need some milk. Oh, this about to hurt. Oh, this about to hurt. Oh, this about to hurt. This about to hurt. Yeah, this, this one about to stay. You can do whatever. 95 don't work. Knight G5. Try it. Try it. It doesn't work. 27, full sand. You might as well hit the button right, right afterwards. Sign the score sheet while you're doing it. Jeez, 92, you're getting queen a2 there. Like, this is scary. Very scary, guys. So, I was like, no, I'm not about to allow him to just have this counterplay. So, somebody else in the chat actually said this. Is, you know, you don't want him to just get this initiative immediately by knight c6. So, I went queen b2. I'm forcing you to do something. If you step off, then you have to deal with problems yourself. But what's funny is, I thought to myself, I can't even take this rook in certain cases. Because there's like some bishop f6 stuff. But let me show you this, right? So he takes with check. I spent so much time here thinking. I go king b1. He plays bishop f6. And I'm like, yo, this is getting very sharp. Queen takes b3, king g7. And now this is scary, chat. I found one of three moves on the engine. All of these is, believe it or not, everything zeros right now. Like what? Bruh. Like this is just insane. Computer preparation to the next level. All zeros right now. And kudos to him, like how strong he is, because he finding it's zeros. Like it's still zeros right now. So white to move, right? White to move. What do we do right now? Now you look, you got an open file and a bishop on your head. So you better be very careful, my guy. What do you do? What do you do? Like that's to say, yeah, he he going crazy. He actually played it great here. And what do you have, chat? Thanks for the follows there, WSV. I'm um, uh way beyond my scope of position. Yeah, brick d5, g4, rook c1. Okay. Knight d4, that does drop a piece immediately. Okay. The problem with rook c1, right? After rook c1, he can just move the queen somewhere, and I don't really have a good follow-up yet. The problem, like, think about this. Let's let's go like reverse in Karpov way. The Karpov way is like, what does my opponent want to do? What does he want to do? He wants to move this knight, most likely to c6, and put the rook on b8, and I'm, it's game over. He needs two moves. That's it. Two moves, and the game is over. So every move I make needs to be very fast. Very fast. So after rook c1, right, he goes queen a5. I have to do something quick, or again, maybe this knight d7 here, with the idea of rook b8 once again. So I, I have to be very careful. I have to tread lightly. Queen b7, cute. That's cute. That's cute. Watch this. You ready for this? You ready for this? Knight c6 anyway. Knight c6 anyway. Anyway. Anyway, bro. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, you take it? Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Check. Right? King here? Okay. Check. King out in the middle of the street now. King d1, rook d8. This is game over. You're getting crushed. You're getting absolutely destroyed. And if you go rook takes c6, then obviously you lose the queen. Look how dangerous this was, bro. It was so dangerous. 
It was so dangerous. So after calculation, COE, after King G7, I go Rook D5. Shout out to you if you say Rook D5. Because I have to be active. I have to move fast and I have to do it now. Rook D5 hits the queen. So at worst case scenario, I was saying to myself, I could do a bishop b5. Let's just say I messed up everywhere and he got a rook to b8. I could at least play bishop b5. It's not over yet. Probably gonna be close. But at least I can play this. All right. So after rook d5, I'm hitting the queen. All right. He takes on f2, but I thought to myself, look, hey, you're not developed all the way. So I hit him with a move, bishop c4. Now if knight c6, somebody tell me where I'm going, chat. Where am I going now? Oh, this is nice. I was so nice to be able to calculate this. I was very hype about this. Combination. Fractal Chris, whatever. What's good? This is on calculation. Rook D7, Rook D7. I see it. Yeah, that's right, Chad. It's just very simple. Rook D7. And if he like moves the king somewhere, like anything, my idea was, you know, obviously Rook F7 too. But I think King H6 was what I was thought he would do. And I would just move the queen somewhere. Like Queen D3 was what was an idea. Sorry, not here. Queen d3 was an idea for me, right? But, I mean, he has queen b2, so I have to watch out here. So I have to move the rook first, hit the queen, and then after the queen moves, right, maybe play something like queen d3 or something. The idea here is I can at least just block. What I'm saying is, like, the bishop can block on b3 now, right? Which is something I didn't have before. I didn't have this before. I didn't have this before at all. So, interesting there, right? So, rook f1. Oh, by the way, uh, this is actually not what happened. He played after bishop c4, he went queen b6. He just went back, queen b6. And at this point, this was like a draw offer. Bruh. I was like, ah, oh, bro, dang. I understand. Because <laughs> it's getting crazy, and I was feeling good. Like, I'm like, come on, bro, please mess this up. But I'm like, ah, oh, man, I, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Hey. So I take the queen. I take on f5. He plays knight c6 and he offers a draw. And I'm like, well, I mean, he has two versus one. I got two versus one. I'm not fully developed. Like, you know, I'm just, I, I could mess this up too as well. I'm already having a great tournament, right? So I'm just, okay, whatever. Take the draw. And that was it, chat. And that was it. But this was computer preparation. Bro, man, what a game. It ended in the draw. But at the same time, I mean, look at the, like, this was crazy. I prepped all of this all of this and he's very strong it's like I was, that's freaking crazy like he plays so good right c4 b3 d5 like he found all the right moves i played d5 he takes on a4 takes right i take on e6 and he finds b3 you know what i mean the guy's strong b3 this is the best move b3 takes not king f8 he takes on f7. The only game in the database was Duda playing another strong GM. They played this exact position. c5, he finds queen a3, which is actually the best move. Right? In the game, I think uh, in the game, the guy played something else. But this is the best move, and that's what old dude played. Like, the guy played excellent chess, but I also played well too. Like, I found, especially, I'm out of prep right here after c5. And then queen a3. So then I thought 40 minutes, in fact, because I had to figure this out. Figured it out, played queen b2, and I actually found the best moves too as well, rook d5. There were some other ways to do this, but practical sense, this was nice. It's still zeros. Everything zeros from everything from here on out. Rook takes, they give white a point two advantage. Like, because it's like, you know, I can play g4, try to push for some stuff, but like, hey, it's whatever, bro. Like, we, we a lot of energy, exciting game. It's about a draw, right? So good stuff. Make sure you guys uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, come back for the next round, of course, of stuff. We'll see y'all on the next video. All right. So, of course, we add this to the video here. This is We have to add this. We have to add this right quick. So, of course, we had the accuracy here, 97.6, 96.8. But then I had to show this right here, right? They might as well start calling me Stock Canty. I mean, it's a wrap. I'm out of here. 3,000, bro. What you mean? Dog, get off me. Get off me, dog. Get off me, bro. 3K, right? Make sure y'all sub to the YouTube. We out of here.